hey guys let's continue with our momentum and now we are looking into some of the advanced stuff so now we are going to cover facebook pixel so i mean we have already seen some of the most advanced audiences type but in order to implement them better in order to use facebook marketing in a better way we need to understand facebook pixel so facebook pixel is basically it's a code snippet and we will see how to create it in facebook ad platform so if you have used google analytics uh, or stat counter in the past you will know that basically you go to your um, ad platform you enter uh, some of the data and then facebook or any other tool whichever you are using will give you a code snippet you then take that code and put it on your website this helps in kind of you know setting up a connection between your website and facebook because directly there is no linkage between facebook and your website your website is out there on internet uh, facebook cannot control anything it needs some kind of connection so don't worry about security and those kind of things and reason i'm talking about linkage in connection because in the past i have seen people getting you know spooked uh, due to certain security concerns so when it comes to google analytics or facebook uh, pixel code you don't have to bother about these things uh, facebook in fact need uh, this information to deliver optimum result so it is not mandatory um, you can still use facebook page and other facebook asset to get get on with your facebook marketing campaign but um, it is highly recommended i mean I, I will suggest you to, you know, if you are not comfortable with uh, putting up the pixel, you can probably leave your questions in the discussion forum or use Facebook group. Uh, somebody will help you out, but you must do it. I mean, it's one thing which you shouldn't try to, you know, look around for any kind of work around. And I have created this step by step guide. So take your time. Um, you have all the screenshots and guidance you need. Uh, so when we go to our Facebook ad manager, uh, we will first need to click on the all tools. Then it will give us pixels under event manager. And then you will create uh, a pixel. So basically click on this create a pixel button and then it will give you these three options. So uh, basically there are three ways of implementing it. There are certain third party tools like Google tag managers, Shopify, uh, Squarespace, things like that. And then you have a way of manually uh, installing the code yourself. Um, if you are using WordPress or Google Tag uh, Manager, it's fairly easy. And th there is a third option to email instruction to a developer if somebody else is going to do it for you. And then we will have to install the code on our website. So basically there are two set of this. Uh, one is the base code where we will go and first uh, copy paste the base code of our uh, so there are two set of it first we will install the base code and then there are additional uh, code snippets so base code will start tracking the information from your website um, and then there are additional codes for example let's say you are running a e-commerce website so in that case uh, you will need people to um, you know perform additional actions on your website like add to cart or check out those kind of things so facebook has created you know uh, custom uh, code snippets for those transactions so you can use them or if, if you are let's say a blog website or news website in that case you can create or rather use something which is like you know view or page load uh, which will provide you information about page load activities on your website so there are additional options and we will see and we'll go through them the reason we need those additional uh, code snippet uh, is that we, we can use them to create custom audiences and custom conversions which we will see so custom audience is basically something like this where uh, we will uh, you can track those people who are visiting our website so if we use this if i visit your website and this Facebook pixel is already there, uh, Facebook will start tracking me. And when I come back to Facebook, I will start to see your ads. So this is a very good way of remarketing. 
so it's a very affecting way of you know retargeting those people who are already aware of your brand so this is you know which is this is something which we can use in evaluation and conversion phase and similarly we have custom conversion so this is um, again take uh, facebook pixel implementation to the next level where we can uh, use it to further enhance and the retargeting so we can have you know create custom conversions based on very specific event and this is um, example of the urls so it's like you know um, if you are if you go back to this drop down if you say url contains url equals and events and then i have added details some of the samples which you can use uh, while creating um, these custom conversions for your website so i have also added all of these events so as i was mentioning earlier we have uh, customized code snippets to track specific activities on your website so view content search add to cart add to wish list these are uh, you know specific events which can happen on your website and you can use this separate code snippets along with the base code snippet to act or rather track uh, the entire activity on your website so let's uh, go back to facebook and see how we can create it you can create only one facebook pixel id for your account and so if you have five website you will have to reuse same code on all of those websites so let's go back to facebook so here we are in our ad manager click on the all tools then pixel under event manager now i have already created it so instead of taking me to this page so i have already created this uh, pixel for me so instead of showing me this page it is directly taking me to the current you know dashboard of facebook pixel so you can see once you have implemented your facebook pixel on your website it will uh, give you data so this is my facebook pixel id and if you want you can you know change the number of days you can see all data sources offline event set so basically this is the event dashboard uh, here uh, if you have implemented additional sources facebook will display those uh, in from that information also if you want you can add additional uh, data source but this is disabled because i have already um, added facebook pixel so if i click on the details it will open a tab with the detailed information on my pixel so you can see i have these these are the events leads view content page views if i click on the activity if any activity was uh, tracked which again means that if i am using it to track any activity it's not displaying because i'm not right now i'm not using it so if you go to settings uh, you will see that uh, all those you know look alike and audiences where i'm using this facebook pixel this, these are the audiences and these are the custom conversions so basically as i've shown you in that slide we can create custom audience and we can create custom conversion you can also use these two options here but before we do that let's quickly go through the setup part so basically once you click on this create a pixel it will take you here and then finally it will show you uh, the ad now if i go back here it will be slightly different for me so I, if i click on the setup it will take me to this page uh, directly to this page instead of create a uh, pixel so now i can use these options so if i'm going to use these options i have to click on this learn about platform integration uh, if you are using google tag manager that is one of uh, the better ways of doing it if you are using wordpress then you have multiple wordpress plugins you can simply go to wordpress plugin directory and search for it uh, it's very uh, easy you will find tons of plugins to implement it on wordpress then we have manually install the code yourself so 
I will just show you how to do it. So here, this is um, the header part of our website. Um, as we are not going to do it, we don't have to bother about it. But if you really want to see the header part, you can literally open any website. Let's open my website. Right click on this and click use the option you view page source. And if you select head, it will show you this, but we are not making any changes here. In fact, if you make any changes here, it won't be saved on your website because your page is refreshed on your server. So you have to make changes on your server and that's why we need something like WordPress plugin or Google Tag Manager, which is inserting that tag uh, in our website. So this is our base code, which I was mentioning. So if you add this piece of code on your website, uh, Facebook will start to get information from your website, but this is a generic base code. This will only tell information about the page loads and you know, number of visitors. So even if you don't have other custom code snippet, um, this piece of code will help you with remarketing. So if you are a, let's say a blog or, or news uh, reader who just want to retarget same people on Facebook, this piece of implementation will work fine. You don't have to bother about anything else. Now, if we click on the continue, it will bring us to this page. Now, this is the page where we have all of these custom options. So let's say, I mean, view content. Now view content, if you can do, it's a better way of implementing. But for, as I mentioned for blogs, for news websites, where um, the basic activity is browsing navigating from one page to another that's fine view content is um you can if you want to you know track some specific page let's say um, um there is some form there is some specific activity on your website uh, which when user perform that action they land on a particular page they land on a particular section in that case um, you want to you know use this view content tag so that you can track that particular activity. Um, if you are, let's say, uh, offering some kind of registration, in that case, you can use something like complete registration. So if you enable this, it will give us uh, this tag, which I have already mentioned in our slide. Uh, this is complete registration. Um, if you have a separate page where they will land upon completing the reg registration, you will add this tag in that page. Uh, body tag so that's how you track those individual actions so let's come close it and let's say generate lead or purchase uh, and reason why facebook use these separate tags is because when you create your uh, advanced campaigns for uh, let's say conversions if you select a particular tag you have to complete that part and then you have to just you know copy paste uh, this particular code on your website so after you complete this part and let's see why we need to do this so let's go to ad manager and create a new campaign so when you click on create ad and here you are going to select the objective app install engagement traffic brand awareness reach conversions lead generations messages things like that now if you have that custom code snippet on your website and let's say you select conversions facebook knows what kind of conversion you are looking for so let's say you have selected purchase go back to pixels leave this page let's say you have selected conversion while creating your campaign and on your website you have placed purchase option so this custom code is telling facebook that by conversion you meant purchase and each time your user land on this page 
uh, by performing certain actions, by completing a certain journey from landing on your website to this uh, purchase completion page. Facebook will use that information to optimize your campaign. So let's say they start on your landing page. On your landing page, they browse this, go through the content. Then they add the product to their cart and they complete the transaction and they finally laid, land on a page where you have added this code snippet. Now, Facebook will analyze the profile of that visitor. Now, it's not the manual process. It's highly automated process. But let's say 10 people have completed this journey. So now Facebook will have data that these are the 10 people, these are the 10 profiles, their gender, their location, their interest, who are completing the transactions, who are making that purchase. And Facebook will use that information to optimize the campaign. Because remember, for Facebook, you are a customer. If your campaign is not delivering results, you are not going to continue with your campaign. So Facebook want you to continue with your campaign and that's why they are going to optimize the campaign to deliver results for you. And by adding this additional code snippet, you are going to provide that information. So it is very important to add Facebook pixel and highly recommend it, I will say, to add this custom code if you can. So whatever you are trying to do, if you are trying to use Facebook for lead generation, complete registration, add payment info, add to cart. I mean, you can add codes to all of these pages. So usually you will have a page for add to cart, then add to wish list. If search is important for you, you will have search. So whatever is applicable for your business, you must use that. And once you have implemented Facebook Pixel, you will need to check. Now, the manual and slow way is to, you know, wait for some time to track if, you know, Facebook is receiving data. You can also use this option, send test traffic to your Pixel. But one of the better way is to get this uh, Chrome plugin. So if you click on this option, it will open the uh, Chrome plugin page. Once you install it, it will be here like this. So on whatever page, any website you visit, you, you will have, if Facebook Pixel is implemented on that website, this page, this button will be enabled. So if you see, if you land this page, this button is disabled. Now, if I go to blog of this website, you will see that this button will become enabled. And if you click on this, it will give you the information about uh, Facebook Pixel. So it's a very good way and a quick and short way. And you don't have to go any other page. Facebook Pixel Helper is the name of the Chrome plugin. And you can download it directly uh, from this page. So Facebook Pixel, now as we have gone through the uh, Facebook Pixel, we can now um, move on to the other topics of Facebook marketing. Thank you.